Hey guys, Neil here again at FabLocker doing another tutorial for the RepRap. This is going to be how to put flats on your motor. Um, a flat is a little flat spot on the drive shaft of your stepper motor. As you can see right here, I just went ahead and put the flat on this one. So, um, some motors you get will already have a flat spot. Some motors have two flat spots. Some motors have no flat spots. Um, if you have no flat spots, you have to add them or you're going to have issues with your stepper. Uh, what will happen is you'll have uh, skips along your X, Y, and depending on how you're coupling your uh, Z stepper to your machine, you could even have the skips on the Z. But it, they'll usually be, um, you'll have the machine fully skip like five or six, looks like five or six steps over. Sometimes it'll just completely let loose and move a good distance. But, so I'll show you how to put a flat on a motor. First thing you need to make sure is to not get the metal off the shaft inside the motor. Uh, to do that, I found that the best material to do that is garden variety Play-Doh. Um, reason being is it sticks to itself really good. And it goes into holes really well too. So you take your silly putty and you put it over motor holes. I have never seen a stepper motor where the holes actually led into the motor. But I always do this just in case I get that one motor that they do. So, jam all those full of Play-Doh. But the shaft that you do know leads into the motor is the one that's actually around the shaft, which is where you're going to be doing your business. So you take your Play-Doh, shove it down in the hole. Once that's done, you get your vise. I wish this was my only vice. You want to clamp it so that about a little less than half of the shaft is above. This is your usually hardened steel, so you're not going to damage it with your press unless you go crazy with it. So you take that, get out your file. You want to actually go all the way up to the motor. You never know where you're actually going to put the pulley depending on your machine. The flat doesn't have to be huge. There'll be a little motor that'll, a little pulley will sit right there on it. You don't have to go that deep either. You just go just a little bit in. You need to get a big enough bite that your M3 bolt can get hold of it. There you go. It's big enough. Once you get done, let it loose. Play-Doh luckily will stick to itself. So you pull it off. Use the Play-Doh to grab the pieces that are not being agreeable. You can see it'll actually pull itself out. There you go. All the Play-Doh out. No metal inside the motor. And you now have a motor with a flat. Have a good day.